Welcome to the configuration guide for the Rolex EV Connect app. This video will guide you through the configuration process for the following Rolex EV charge points. Quantum, Auto Charge, Basic Charge, Security Charge, Zura, and Wall Pod. The charge point requires a strong and stable internet connection using either mobile networks, Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Where mobile communications will be used, a signal strength of 14 CSQ or better is required at the charge point. Units using Wi-Fi must be in range of a wireless access point, with a strong, stable connection. If using Ethernet, make sure the Ethernet cable is connected to the unit's smart board. Power up the charge point and open the Rolex EV Connect app. If you don't already have the app on your device, scan the QR code on the front of the Rolex EV Connect setup guide tag or search for it on the App Store or Google Play Store. Sign in and follow the on-screen prompts to install a new charge point. Select either home or commercial depending on the type of installation. For commercial installations you will be prompted to enter a project name before pressing next. Press the Add Charge Point button and scan the QR code label on the back of the Rolex EV Connect setup guide tag. Make sure Bluetooth is enabled to connect to the charge point. If you don't have the setup guide tag you can also scan the QR code on the smart board inside the charge point. If you are unable to scan QR codes, it is possible to manually connect to the charge point via Bluetooth. Press search for devices and select the device number that corresponds with the charge point ID number shown on the smart board label. Enter the case sensitive password, also found on the smart board, and press connect. Once connected, you will be taken to the charge point configuration screen. Do not change the charge point ID unless instructed to do so by Rolex or by the chosen app service provider. Changing the ID without being instructed to do so will remove connectivity to the charge point. If you have installed a load balancing CT clamp, make sure to input the correct rating for the main fuse for the load balancing feature to operate correctly. Enter the correct settings for the charge point, such as the number of connectors, the maximum charging output, and the chosen back office system. To connect the charge point to a network, open the network interface drop-down menu in the connectivity section to choose either GSM, Wi-Fi or Ethernet, and enter the relevant network information. For more information about any of the individual settings, press the eye icon next to the setting to open a pop-up notification. Once you have entered the correct settings, you may save a preset of the current configuration for use again later. Press set to run the configuration and return to the project screen. To test the charge point, open the pop-up menu and select test. Choose the number of the connector you wish to test, plug into an EV charge point test adapter, and press the start test button. When the test is complete, repeat the process for any further connectors on the charge point and return to the project screen. Once the charge point has been configured correctly and all tests have been passed, open the pop-up menu and select installation complete. Press the yes button and hit update to change the status of the charge point to installation complete. The charge point is now fully installed and ready for onboarding to the selected back office. Refer to the back office service provider's instructions to proceed with the onboarding process.